Hello. Hey, I'm feeling snarky and low energy, so I'm going to talk about what happened. Because it's happened a number of times, and I generally don't like to bring it up, because it's so pathetic that it's not even worth talking about. And it exclusively happens whenever I openly advertise that I'm transgender in, my, in the tags of streams. I can't imagine anything more boring and unaffecting than somebody following me with the username You'll Never Be A Woman Cope. And if anything, it just shows how pathetic these fucking losers are that they have to go through so much fucking time and effort in some, what, attempt to make somebody upset or ruin somebody's fun. I would have so much more respect for these pathetic little weasels if they just came into my chat and called me a fucking tranny. Like, at least have the balls to do that, you fucking little coward. Instead, you what? Follow me with a transphobic name, and what do you think's gonna fucking happen? You're gonna get banned immediately, and I'm gonna report you. Like, that's it. That's all that's gonna happen. I've been doing this for eight fucking years. I spent five years on one of the most toxic internet forums known to man. All while being an open and out and proud trans woman. You're not gonna fucking affect me, you little fucking prick. If anything, you're gonna make me mad and spiteful, and I'm gonna keep openly doing this as the person that I am for fucking ever, and I'm gonna be here. And I'm gonna be happy, and I'm gonna share in moments of joy, experiencing great video games with the people who are cool and support me. People that you don't have in your life. Because you're a sad, pathetic person who drains the energy out of every fucking room you're in. And I hope you go to bed tonight knowing that every single person who was around you was thankful when you leave. Alright? That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna take a sip of my water and we're gonna continue playing the fucking video game. Again, I usually don't like talking about it, because it's just pathetic. But you caught me on a day when I feel like being a bitch. So I'm gonna be a bitch. Anyway, let's develop some photos. Where did that cat go? The cat was around for, like, one scene. And then the cat's just gone for the rest of the game. Hey, Miku, what are you singing? This seems relevant to the specific thing that we're dealing with. What's up? Hey, Miku, are you good? What's going on with you? All right, hey, do you know where the cat is? Where's the cat? Miku, that song. Oh, Ray, good morning. That song? I don't remember exactly where I heard it, but I feel like I've been hearing it in my dreams lately. I don't have any idea what the lyrics mean. Could it be some sort of dialect? What? It's a song. Dreams. Yep. In my restless dreams, I see that manner. <laughs> An envelope has been delivered to the letterbox. Oh. Dear you, I'm sending you a testimony tape I just found about the urban legend. If I give it to you, I know you'll take good care of it. I found several other tapes, but as they're quite old, having been dubbed by a gramophone, they're damaged. I'm trying to get them restored now. I'll send them to you when they're done. Lately, I have solely been researching folklore. Legends, folk tales, and folk religion. That was both your and Mafia's field, wasn't it? 
It's an interesting world, but I don't want to get too deep into it. How is Mafuyu's sister? Her name was Miku, right? I'm searching everywhere I can, but I still don't know Junsei Takamine's whereabouts. Maybe he was Spirit of the Way too? If you've got anything, let me know. Mio's health is not good, so I put her in the hospital. She only wakes once every two days, and then for only a couple hours at a time. I've got to hurry with my research. Regards, K. Amakura. Oh! So protagonist girl from Fatal Frame 2 is also dealing with this. Is this girl Mio Amakura? There seems to be a cassette enclosed. The cassette looks quite old. The label reads, The Manor of Sleep Recordings, Case A. Maybe I can play it on the tape deck in my room. Yeah, probably. What? Uh, uh, yeah, hey, photos! I should have, I should have developed the photos before doing the thing that I knew was, like, progress. That was my bad. Huh. Okay. That wasn't just the cloth physics glitching out, right? Ghost? Nope. I'm just gonna develop these photos in my nighty, I guess. <laughs> This looks like the skewered red dolls in the courtyard of the sacred tree. Maybe it's some kind of religious ritual. Boy, I'm gonna have a busy day for Miku tomorrow. She's gonna have to look into five photographs. The Komodo-clad mother and daughter... Daughter... Holding something that looks like a child. Ray, are you British? What could have happened to them? A mother and daughter have emerged dressed in kimonos. Did they once go missing too? If so, it must have been a long time ago. That's the creepy shrine maiden kid that wants to impale people. A truly British moment. Yeah, exactly. The shrine maiden in the room full of dolls nailed to the wall. She has a stake in her hand. Just like in my vision. Who or what could she be? An image has appeared of an old projector that must have been there inside the mansion. Okay. Miku, I have photos for you. Mm, a lot of these camera angles are like... So perfectly primed to see a ghost in the background or upstairs. Oh. Oh, no, you're, you are here. Hi. Hello. Ray, what's the matter? Miku, that person in the picture on your desk. That's... Oh, there's the cat! That's my older brother. He's been missing for quite some time. I didn't know. I'm sorry for bringing it up. I was just wondering. Anyway. <laughs> Hold on. Can I? Yes. Okay, that's actually going to go in the album, too. Uh, Can I not... Have you look at these? No? Okay. Bye! <laughs> Did you see that? There was film grain. 
Was there a ghost that I missed? Oh, Charles is going to sleep. How he didn't even say anything. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Charles, you got all the sleep you need. I hope you have a good sleep tonight. Okay. Oh, we should also listen to that tape. Was it going to be subtitled? In my dream, yeah. I saw my mother in that manner. Thank you, Charles. Inside, there was no shrine. It was cold. Snow was falling. I could hear a song. There were so many people going into the shrine. It, it was like a funeral procession. I could smell incense burning. Everyone was hiding their faces. My mother was among them. No matter how many times I called her, she kept going further and further. And just before the door shut, that sounds like she was like it mumbling or muttering there. All alone. I saw it every day. I went in just a little bit. Or EVP? If I went any further, I wouldn't be able to come back. But I thought I could meet my mother in there. That kind of sounded like EVP, right? Like there, there was some kind of like ghost voice. Uh, every now and then. I kind of thought it was her, like, muttering to herself or something, but I think it didn't really match her cadence and, like, the depth of her voice. It's probably harder for you guys to hear than it was for me, I guess. It's kind of weird. Like, the voice acting... <laughs> Fuck. The voice acting in this game is, like, a, a major step above, uh... What it was in Fatal Frame 1. But there's less of it. Because they're doing, like, text boxes and shit now. Wait, that didn't look like Ray. We're in the fucking Fatal Frame 1 house! Yo! Alright. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. That's sick. Oh. Cool. Look at, she's got the fucking little girl trot. She's moving with a little bit more speed than she did before, though. Damn, it sure is a fucking good thing we played Fatal Frame 1 before we fucking moved on to this game, huh? I can't believe I started with fucking Fatal Frame 2. The, the risk that we took in doing that was not worth it. Ah. 
Is this... Camera Obscura? But I don't want to remember anymore. Whoa! Gotta go. The door is firmly closed. Cookie, I'm sure... I'm sure you'll get through it okay. You're an epic swag gamer, remember? Did they... Mm. Trying to tell if they, like, rebuilt it? No, this looks like... Same quality. Yeah, this looks identical to the... To the assets in Fatal Frame 1. I need... Oh, what? Yeah, you can definitely tell that this is like... <sighs> oh, I fucked that. Yeah. Oh! Ooh, he has a creepy mask. Come at me, bitch. I got your number. Ow, no, I don't. Never mind. Oh, I fuck. I missed the combo. I might actually die. Uh oh. Wow! <laughs> I was a little... I was maybe a little bit overconfident. Maybe just a touch overconfident. Alright, well... Thankfully, I at least know where I'm going. That seems like a lot more harsh than Ray's gameplay, too. Though, I guess they're kind of expecting me to carry the experience that I had playing as Ray earlier, so... I, I, yeah, I should have handled that better. <laughs> oh, I like Miku's outfit in this, too. I, so, having played the prologue of Fatal Frame 4, I've, uh, I kind of also looked at some of, like, the concept art, and there are some fucking... Hella cute outfits in Fatal Frame 4. It's it's crazy. I'm just gonna actually use the better film against this guy so I don't have to worry. Are you gonna drop the stone? No, you're not. The what? Oh, yeah. Miku Hinasaki special ability. Effect 1. Slow a ghost's movements. By pressing the circle button and using the sacred stone, you slow the movement of ghosts. Since the ghost moves more slowly, it is easier to dodge attacks or aim in the shutter chance or fatal frame. You cannot use the Sacred Stone if the Sacred Stone meter drops to zero. If Miku damages a ghost or receives damage, the Sacred Stone meter replenishes. The higher your level, the faster it replenishes and last longer its duration of effects. Okay. I don't have points to actually spend on... Oh! Oh! Surely Miku doesn't have her own points, and these are also points that we got with Ray, right? Let's increase range first.
Oh, wow, it really is a meter. Oh, wow. Okay. Weird. We've got fucking characters with different movesets. It's like we're playing Devil May Cry up in here. Oh, that's... No. We want to go down to... Yeah, it's a... Miku. It's a rope. So I guess people in the previous game did get strangled by those, so I guess being concerned about it is natural. The filament is active in here. Whoa! Oh, Dave! Dave, that... Hey... That is insanely generous of you, and I super appreciate it. Especially after... Gifting, uh... Seven tier three subs yesterday. Um... I, yeah, I don't know what to say. That's super generous and kind of you, and I appreciate it. And I'm glad you're... Enjoying streams. I was talking about this a little bit on Twitter. And... I always like when somebody tunes into a stream for the first time and then just like that's not the room that was attached here anyway and just like just immediately kind of like seamlessly incorporates themselves into the community and i feel like you've done that really effectively probably the same way that most people here do uh because they hyperfixate on video games. <laughs> oh wow, that lady's scary. Get fucked. Oh, this lady... Okay. Wow, Miku's gameplay is immediately, like... Way more tough. Did I get her? Yes. Okay, you're fucked, lady. Oh, no, you're still... You're still cooking, huh? You done? Okay, you're done. Oh, I know exactly where we're going. Oh, don't make me do those shitty puzzles again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Oh, it's not even telling me. Oh, that's really rude. It's not even telling me... Like, it's not highlighting them, which I think is mean. Oh, no. I'm not smart enough to actually just figure these out. Without having the helping hand of the game literally being like, Hey, this one goes here. I'm going to highlight the one where this goes for you. Oh, actually, wait, hold on. I think they did actually make this easier. Because I can, I can undo, I can undo. Oh, okay. Well, then, maybe this is not as bad as I was thinking it was. 
Literally, all I have to do... I did it. There it is. Okay, so we're actually going to the temple where we first encountered Kyrie. No. We're not. We're going to the cage that Kyrie was locked in. Kyrie, are you here? There's no way you're here, right? Also, is this in the manner of sleep? Snow is falling. It's a quiet night. This could be the last snow of the ten years of changing seasons I have watched from this window. As I watch the snow, I get the feeling that something has passed. Finally, I have severed all of my attachments. I'll give my body over to the ropes and seal the gates. Kizuna Himuro. Uh, okay, wait. Okay. I'm thinking back to that note... Or to that journal of yous, where he kind of talks about... We're gonna talk about this in Jungian terms. Uh, the archetypes of the stories. Well, like the Lost Village, that, that kind of thing. And I'm wondering if maybe... The collective unconscious of people is kind of like putting these things in the dreams of people who are maybe spiritually active or have some kind of trauma. Something? I might be thinking about it too much. But like, we obviously saw the tattooed woman behind. Miku as she entered this place, right? So obviously, it's the same ghost that uh, that uh, Ray's dealing with. Um... And the manner that Ray is in is the same one that she was in after you got to the car accident, I guess? Or something? So it seems like these locations are, like, attached to them? Also, Kizuna is a great name. I love that name. Yeah. I mean, this is the era in which, like, Persona 3 and 4 came out and were huge successes, right? Lady, you're not looking so good. Oh, wow! Wow, you look fucked! What? Oh! Wait, okay, uh, no, I, uh, I think... I think Miku has another power. I'm pretty sure I wa- oh no, maybe not. Is it Miku that has that power? Or is it Rei? Cause I know I've- I've re I, I kinda glanced at a walkthrough before playing. Oh! Okay, yeah, but there is like the counter. Like the- you can parry a ghost. Um, somebody gets a mechanic. I think Miku might have the mechanic. Where, like, she can actually charge beyond Max on her camera obscura. And I don't... I can't remember if it's Miku that has that 
or if it's Ray. I, I, I'm... Because both of them have the... Fatal Frame. Is it, Are we just going back to where... Mafuyu went missing? Oh, okay. So... Instead of possibly having a psychological breakthrough, Miku has decided... No. Actually. I want to go home. I can't believe how badly that mirror scared me when we were playing Fatal Frame 1 the other day. That mirror scared the absolute shit out of me. <coughs> I I seriously thought that we were actually just gonna straight up go to the temple that uh we first encountered Kyrie at, but uh I guess not. Miku hey, girl oh These over here. Okay. Uh, also there's an item there. Is that an item that I missed? Did I save before I grabbed this? I must have. Did I? Did I? I don't reckon I did. Oh, does she have the same... Does she have the same stock of items that... Ray does? No, because if that was the case, then we would have more sacred waters and a stone mirror, right? Maybe she just starts a bit more equipped than Ray did. Oh, then that must mean also that the points we had were for Miku and not for Ray. Oh, I straight up thought they just put me in the same hallway. Oh, wait, if she's going deeper. Oh, yeah, no, we are in the manner of sleep now. You can you can eat. Oh, it's so easy to tell. Because, like, there's so much more detail on the textures and the walls and stuff. I think I, did I see an item. Yeah, I did. I love that. That's genuinely really fun that you can, like... Instantly tell the difference between locations. Just because of, like... The way... Just because of the way they look, you know? I mean, also because you've, you've been to one. But... Obviously, one location is ripped from an earlier PS2 game. And this one is, like, really late PS2. So, obviously, the... Visual fidelity is going to be a bit higher. Miku, can you move that? Fuck. Ladies, get rid of your fucking gendered preconceptions. You can totally move that bookcase if you put your mind to it. You don't need a man to do it for you. Oh, I just realized she has like cute stockings. Aww. Uh. Then, what? Oh, there's a door here. That definitely does kind of, oh, give the game away that we're going to be playing as a third character, though, doesn't it? Oh, uh, what? Here? Oh, here. Uh, wow. Really hard to tell that that's a way to go if you don't look at the map. Yeah? Wait, Ray, were you having that dream? Huh? Was that Miku's dream? But why? It seems Miku was having that same dream too. Oh! That 
that's weird. So, was Rei experiencing that dream from Miku's perspective then? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, hey, let's go talk to Miku. Let's catch up with Miku. Uh, get her to look at these photographs. Hey, cat. Yeah, it's in the film, film green again there. Miku, are you awake? Are you good? Hey, girl. Miku? Ray, I'm sorry. I, I don't feel so well. I couldn't sleep. Yeah, no kidding. Miku? Oh, yeah, okay. Miku, did something happen yesterday? I just had a strange dream. That's all. Please, don't worry about me. By the way, a letter came for you this morning. I left it in the kitchen. Thanks. Get some rest today. And then there's this. Kei Amakura. Isn't this him? But where did you find this photo? Yesterday, looking through my brother's albums. My brother worked on the same editing team as you for a while. I thought there might be a photo of him left over from those days. I see. Thank you. On the back of the photo was written, K. Amakura, recent photo of author. Okay, why do we need that? Hey, do you want to look at these photos that I have? No? Okay. You don't want to tell me about the info that you got from the other photos that I gave you? No? Oh, wait. Hold on. Didn't she say that she would leave that stuff on her desk? Is that something I can access whenever? Okay. Hey, let's go find out why there's film grain. Is that just loading? It could just be loading, I guess. What is that? There's a letter on the kitchen counter. It looks like it's from K. Miku must have brought it in and left it here. Dear you, have you listened to the three tapes I sent before? I'd like you to listen to them before you read the rest. Maybe you won't believe it, but I've had the manner of sleep dream. First I thought I was just thinking about the manner too much, but after listening to those ta tapes and to Mio, I'm displaying the same symptoms. In the dream, I'm in a snowy manner. I don't remember it well, but it resembles the house I got the camera obscura from. I get a bad sense from the manor, just like the testimonies. The only difference is I was pursuing Mio in the manor, and Mio wasn't dead. If the urban legend of the manor of sleep is true, and I can wake Mio from her dream, maybe I can save her. Even if it makes little sense, I feel I'm getting closer to the truth. Regards, K. Amakura. Three cassettes? Maybe they are in used room somewhere? I don't think we got any f Oh. Man, these are getting shorter and shorter. I was kind of complimenting how they're really welcome because they give you a little breather from the horror segments, but if they're going to be this short, then like... They're not really doing that all that effectively, right? Ah. Dear you, I got a tape on the manner of sleep urban legend from a source at the hospital. A psychiatrist had recorded the medical condition of a patient. There was a long background noise as it was originally recorded on a gramophone, but the content is great. It's not quite anthropology, but I think you'll be interested too. It's a lot to ask, but I'd like you to find out the le about legends or cases of missing people similar to this one. Regards, K. Amakura. <coughs> Okay, so K is the one who was encouraging you to research the stuff that we read that he was researching before. It seems the cassette tape in the envelope was on the manner of sleep medical cases after all. That's tape B. It seems as though there is one more old tape that doesn't have a letter on it. I'm kind of surprised that we haven't seen a ghost in our apartment again. Or our house, I guess. This isn't an apartment. 
Like, we saw a ghost in our house that one time very briefly, and then it just hasn't happened again. Alright. We'll listen to these, and then we'll wrap up for the night. Yes, that dream. I dreamt of the manor. Yes. Yes, my name is... That must be somebody talking off camera. Or off. It's the same manor. Or in the background. It's a big end. Quiet manner. Not necessarily EVP. It was a very cold night. I guess she's probably being interviewed, right? Snowing, and then the roof collapsed, and the snow started coming in. Um, a song? Yeah. Okay. This makes it more clear it that she's being interviewed. Like some sort of a nursemaid song. The child kept stabbing at the doll. When I came to, it, it always hurt. There was always pain. Here, can't you see it? Look, it, it's right here. It's true. What it the f- spreading. What? <laughs> that scared me. No, that was definitely EVP. That was like crisp and clear as a spring morning. There was definitely a second voice as she was speaking, and it was louder than her. And I'm gonna be real, I thought it was in my fucking room. That was really good. Huh? How many times do I have to explain it? It was a manor. And it was snowing. There was blood. Lots of people, they collapsed all over. In the hallway, in the room, everywhere. Yes, it was a man in white clothes, but he had no face. There was uh. a and oh, yeah. The walls. I've encountered that. I always ran as hard as I could. So far. Lots of hands came out of the walls. But when I came to... Somehow I was the one chasing the man. That's right. I was the hatchet that man. Woman, yesterday she touched me. It was painfully cold. Even when I woke up, my body was like ice. This tattoo. I don't know if we're really getting much out of those. Nothing that we're not already getting confirmed just from the letters from Kay and now from Miku. Like, yeah, I'll, yeah, this is happening to other people. But I guess maybe the idea is that it's more widespread phenomenon than just people that are directly involved with this group. So it's happening to people who aren't... Because, like, K is connected to you, you is connected to Ray, Miku is connected to Ray, Mio is connected to K. So, like, this is... It's, 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 a, it's a little collection of, like... Fatal frame protagonized. So I guess what these tapes are doing is stressing like, no, it's not just happening to people who are involved with Fatal Frame, the series. It's also civilians, I guess you would say.